all timelines would end forever. Yep. That kid had been the cause of it. By the time you started receiving the information, you were too busy protecting Papyrus. Hmm. You were watching? Yeah, I could witness the world. Not so much interact. Either way, I might not be able to beat the kid on my own. But this was too important. I had nothing else to lose. So if it didn't work, oh well. It'll skin off my bones. <laughs> Honestly, I thought I was just going to melt. And I did. Almost. But I wouldn't let myself. Either way, determination is one hell of a drug. I already had determination from when, well, you know. But I was hoping maybe more would give me what I needed. Desperation? I hoped that once I killed the kid, that I might have enough determination to surpass theirs. Though, to gain control of the timelines and the power to stop resets forever? The kid died. And somehow I found myself here. Determination allowed me to find this pocket in space time. This was it. Finally had answers. This was how the human was manipulating time. Now I could do too. I could stop everything from ending. I could really save everyone. I guess it doesn't always work out the way you planned it. Uh oh. Sorry, Sans. Looks like the world finally reset. I'm free to go home. Wait, but there's still a lot I don't understand. I know. I'll try to see if we can speak directly in your dreams. I still don't know the limits of what I can do now. But there's one big thing you have to remember. Char is in possession of Frisk's body, and you alter the timeline by killing Char. That means Char is going to hone in on you. The plague through has changed. Char is interested in this world again. We have to keep Char interested. Sans. If Char gets bored, all existence will cease to be. You have to keep Char amused until we figure out how to stop them from ending everything. And no matter what Chara does, you have to endure the sake of everything. <laughs> I can do that after all. Nothing gets under my skin. <laughs> we always have a fun bag of bones. <laughs> Alright, I'll send you back to the timeline. Just one final thing, okay? Please. Well, it's about... Uh... <laughs> I mean... Papyrus. He looks so happy. I just... Thank you. Thank you for being good to him. Of course. <laughs> Alright. Well, see you on the other side, buddy. <laughs> okay, that one. I took a lot out of it. <laughs> Sorry, kiddo. Didn't mean to scare you. Oh, there. You don't have to see it again. I'm okay. See? No problems. It's okay. We'll get through this, kid. I'm not going anywhere, okay? I'm not going anywhere. Oh! Oh! Sands! Oh, uh, morning, bro. It's night. Or maybe hard to tell time here. Sans, did you have a knife, man? I... Whoa, uh, no. It's off the couch. Sans, are you being entirely honest with me? Do you really need to talk? Yeah, I'm good. You know what, Paps? I'm just excited because... <laughs> I think tomorrow's the big day. Huh? You have that feeling too? That is a great sign! Now I know a human will most certainly come tomorrow. Whoa! If that's the case, we both need rest. Let's head off to bed. <laughs> okay. Okay, Sans. Today's the day. <laughs> I can feel it, Sans. I can feel it in my bones. That was good. I know! 